In a time where whinging, bitching and moaning about absolutely everything possible, I thought I'd just take this kind little reminder to all of you that Christmas needs to be cancelled immediately. It's full of dark horrors. Horrors that are racist, that are sexist, that are anti-climate change, that are pro-climate change. I don't know, but they're against whatever's right. Christmas is upsetting everybody. Oh my god, the horror! Will somebody think of the children? We need to stop this Christmas rubbish! And ladies and gentlemen, there's an amazing magazine that has put out this article saying we need to evolve past Christmas and uh, I'm gonna just open a nice little Christmas can of hoopass on that after I talk to you about our amazing sponsors for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. We spend about six to eight hours on the interweb every single day and that's about as much time as we spend sleeping so we need to be safe. Use Surfshark to encrypt your personal information and send it through a secure VPN tunnel so that no one can see it without your permission. Protect it from those dirty soy boys who are after your passwords and all your bits of information, your credit card info etc because they're coming for you let me tell you ladies and gentlemen and you need Surfshark VPN now to protect you. But also, if you hear that there's an American TV show, but it's only on American Netflix, what do you do? Do you lay down in a ball and cry? No! You get Surfshark VPN, and you can access streaming services in other countries so you can catch up on all your favorite programs. Isn't that amazing? Do you feel like your mobile's a little bit too slow on the old data? Well, with Surfshark, it blocks all the ads and puts all that data into the stuff that you actually want to see. It quickens your speed. Holy do it! So, click on the link in my description or go to surfshark.deals forward slash Buttsman and use my promo code Buttsman to get a special holiday deal of 83% off and three extra months for free. These guys support my channel and have done for the entire year, so make sure you get behind them. Every single year there are calls for Christmas to be cancelled. We're used to them. Carols are, are, are promoting sexual violence. Baby, it's cold outside. Yeah, it was a little bit creepy, some of the lyrics. He's like, yeah, come over here, baby, come and give me a bit of a cuddle. Nah, don't leave, baby, come back and give me a cuddle. But all lyrics and songs are, are, are a little bit creepy when you slow them down. Like take the Wiggles song, the Big Red Car song. Choo choo chugga chugga, Big Red Car. Yeah, it's a bit creepy when you slow down and look at the lyrics. Choo choo chugga chugga, Big Red Car. See? Creepy as fuck! Don't call Christmas this, call it holidays, all that type of shit. But this year, there's a new horse in the race and I need to take that horse, take it behind the shed and put that motherfucker down. This year's Grinch is Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia is a publication here in Australia that's for women, by women, researched by women. It's fucking awful. Let me just say that right now. Some of the articles from Mamma Mia go a little something like this. Women hate open plan offices and it all started in childhood. Emma Watson just gloriously proved why her tits and feminism are 100% compatible. Serena Williams' baby is already a victim of racism. What bothers me about gender reveal parties? Oh my god. So when I saw this headline, you're not imagining it, Christmas feels very different this year. I thought, let's have a little squeeze about what these fucking turds are up to. In 2019, Christmas is on the brink of cancellation. Now it's fucking not. How about that? I love Christmas. I hope you love Christmas too. It's a wonderful time to get together with the people that you love, give each other gifts, and eat a fuck ton of food and drink heaps of piss. It's fucking wonderful. The carols are being played a little quieter ever since they discovered that a bunch of them were problematic. No, as I just said, all right? If you slow down any lyrics in any song, they are creepy as fuck. Take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle, oh, twinkle, Little oh, star. Creepy as fuck. Shut the fuck up. They're just songs. Get over it, alright? You'll notice Christmas decorations are more subtle. Oh, they better not be. With religious adherence in Australia on a steady decline. Come on. I mean, like most people, I am not a religious person. But I still celebrate Christmas and Easter and all those religious holidays because they are a part of our culture. And I think we have evolved to the point where we do not need to even concern ourselves with God and Jesus and all that business to do with Christmas. Christmas is far more about family and giving yourself some time to relax after this bullshit year that you've just been through. Fake Christmas trees ultimately made from plastic. Oh my god. Now elicit an awkward twinge in the belly. 
Don't fucking eat it. Should we really be buying a plastic Christmas tree from a shop that made a big fuss about banning plastic bags? Two things, motherfucker, alright? If I could find a real Christmas tree that wasn't gonna make a mess of my house, I would get one. Okay, I like the smell of pollen. But also, if I cut down a real tree, I'm pretty sure Greta fucking Thunderbergium is gonna have a brain aneurysm, alright? We can't win! How dare you! Also, fuck the fresh food people, and the, the, the whole bit. Okay. This, this article, this headline, this paragraph in particular is grasping at straws. And they're not even paper straws. How disgusting. Christmas lights too can't be gazed at with the same level of affection as years gone by. Given what we know about the goddamn fossil fuels and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Interesting point. I don't think Christmas lights are the cause of climate change. Even though, in this studio right now and I'm recording this, it's 40 fucking degrees and I'm sweating like fuck, okay? I'm sweating like Rolf Harris. Boom. <laughs> Rolf Harris. <laughs> but if you're worried about the lights being on, do us a favor. Turn the lights off at the Mamma Mia offices. Turn them off for fucking good. Take the cunts down and fucking cut them off at the source. Dickheads. One can barely finish this sentence. Wow, look at the, without the other muttering, well this can't be good for the planet. Okay, how about this? For the next two weeks, fuck the planet. It's Christmas. Presents feel distasteful in light of our cultural awakening around waste. Oh my god, you fucking killjoy. I understand that ripping up bits of paper every single Christmas seems a bit wasteful, but the shit that people go through every single year dealing with shit bosses at shit jobs, like people who work in retail, okay? Think about this. People who work in retail, go in there every single day, they deal with a manager who thinks that it's the most important job in the world, make their life hell, and they end up just fucking hating every single thing in the entire world. Two things to come out of that. Number one, enjoy ripping fucking paper on Christmas Day, throw it everywhere, throw it in the closest fucking river, stick it up a turtle's nose, I don't give a fuck. Second thing, fuck you to all the managers out there that take things way too seriously. You don't matter, the job doesn't matter, fuck you to the moon. We always knew the answer was no, but this year when a 16 year old Swedish girl refuses to even step onto a plane because of the damage it does to the environment, we must admit Christmas is a little bit less fun. Huh. Greta's little trip across the Atlantic seems like a great way to stop global warming and all that bullshit, but she is not only using a non-recyclable plastic boat, but she's also flying her four crew members across the Atlantic about eight times to try and get her there safely, which is causing more fossil fuels than if she didn't fucking go. Greta, full of shit. How dare you? Oh, the women. Santa's little helpers were never mythical elves, they were just women who woke up early and worked tirelessly to make Christmas happen, etc. Whinge, bitch, moan, annoy. Listen, that's a fair critique to be honest. Because if in my house, if in my Christmas, the men did everything, it'll be a fucking schmozzle. So thank fuck for my mum, my auntie and my grandma. Love you guys. Jesus Christ, I'd hate to think if we fucking took charge. Ugh. Sitting on the lap of a man in a red suit, whilst someone demands you to smile. That's a bit awkward. Sits awkwardly in a post Me Too world. Is he a priest? No, you're probably gonna be fine. Perhaps it's a little bit too bold to say Christmas is on the brink of cancellation. Rather, as we evolve, Christmas should evolve too. Okay. Leave Christmas the fuck alone. It's perfect how it is. I hope everybody has a beautiful day on Christmas. I hope everyone has a beautiful day every single day. Except this woman who wrote this article. I hope you have a bad afternoon. Not too bad. Just like I hope you stub your toe or something. But remember this. Christmas is tough for a lot of people. A lot of people don't have family members close by or at all. And they, maybe people are spending Christmas on the streets or without enough food or without enough basic amenities. And to those people, I just wanted to let you know that I wish you a very Merry Christmas. I hope you can find some joy in the environment in which you are in on December 25th. But I also hope for every single person who's watched this channel this year, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and I hope that in 2020, all your dreams do come true. And all your wishes as well. But you've only got two left, because I'm already here. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. And I'll see you very soon. Toodaloo, bye. How dare you?